Hello YouTube, it is SonyFX Pro, and I'm here today for my first video on how to make the jumper effect using Sony Vegas Pro. Now of course this is me, and this is the final product of me jumping and teleporting from there to there. Okay, looks pretty cool. Well, let's get started. So what you first want to do is open up Sony Vegas Pro and just have it open and take a video of yourself and put the camera on top of something or like a tripod or place it somewhere so that it doesn't move around or else it will mess up the whole effect and it'll look plain weird. Okay, so this is my brother and this is the raw video of him jumping and teleport and it reappear over there. Okay, now first what you want to do is of course delete the audio and then, well, you could keep it, but just to make life easier right now, during this tutorial, I'm going to delete it. So, when you play this, you want to pause it right when he jumps, okay? And then press S to split it. Now, this is where he stops and teleports and gets into that effect. And then he's going to walk, and then he's going to jump again and reappear into the world. Now, right here, what you want to do is press S again. And in the middle is all that walking and stuff, and you want you don't want that in the video, so delete it. Now, insert a new video track, which is Control Shift Q, which is a shortcut in adding another video track. Okay. Now, what you want to do is also add a background image for your effect. So right here, it's plain just a background without my brother in it and click this button right up here which is save snapshot to file and it doesn't matter what you call it just save it and it'll appear over here okay now drag it down here and when you scroll up or zoom in what you want to do is just cover this area this whole entire area with the background so that because without the background it'll just be plain black so it won't look good now what you want to do is go to the beginning or the end of this track and go to the place where he is jumping right oh whoops right there okay now what you want to do is hold on let me okay now save a uh, save a snapshot to file and then once you have that image drag it down here and since it's a really big image, I guess you'll minimize it down. And then beginning of this video where you appear into the world, what you're going to do is save a snapshot to file. Okay, save. Now it's right here, right? So what you want to do is drag this down again so that it meets with this. Okay, so it's going to look like that. Now... Which, how many keyframes you want for each image, what you can do is press the arrow key to count how many frames. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that you have six, oh, whoops, start from the beginning again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and drag it until it's six keyframes. Start from the beginning over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just drag it so it's like that. Now you want it to be bordering upon each other, sort of like that. I guess just a little bit less I guess like right there and then you want to have it like that now bring the background a little bit smaller if you want to it doesn't really matter what you want to do is right now it looks sort of like this sort of plain and not so effective what you want to do is crop this by pressing this event pan slash crop and mask it. Masking is really important. This will allow you to trace and all that stuff. And what you want to do is zoom in with the scroll on your mouse. And click this anchor creation tool and just trace the entire body with it. Now, what you do is just click, 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 click. And then until you trace the whole body, I'll be back with you guys once I'm done tracing. I am back guys and this is the final product and it will look sort of like that. It's not perfect but whatever. It's traced. Now go to this one and do the exact same thing. Mask it and trace or let me zoom in a little. 
and then just trace the whole thing. I'll be back once it's done tracing. I am back guys and I traced this one and of course it's not perfect but if you can see here there are two images of my brother. Now this will be sort of the effect where it appears and teleports back down here. Okay now to get that effect what you want to do is first go to the first clip and click on this one. Event, event FX. Now there will be three little effects that you want to add and one of them is linear blur and press add and then uh, Sony bump map add and then Sony pinch punch add. Now press OK and then all this will appear. Okay, uh, so what you want to do is uncheck pinch punch and uncheck bump map and go to your linear blur. And now in the beginning, what you want to do is everything at zero. And then you want to go to about, hmm, let's say, one second and you want to bring this up a lot like that. Okay, and then once you have that, you want to go all the way to the end or near the end and just bring the intensity crazy. Okay, now what this is going to do is like you're disappearing into thin air. It's a pretty cool effect and it just really stands out. And you want to check bump map. Now bump map, what it does is makes you look like a ball of light and it's really cool. So in the beginning, what you want to do is like change the sensitivity or intensity just down a little. And then in the end, you want the intensity crazy high. So it just looks like that. Pretty cool. Now check in pinch punch. What it does is makes you look a little round. And this makes it really cool because you're like disappearing into a ball. So make the amount in the beginning at zero. Uh, yeah, right there. Zero. And then drag this down to the end. And then bring the amount to a maximum. So curve and it'll just look really cool. So we have three keyframes in each one and linear blur there's a second one right here. So it looks just like that. Okay. Now make sure you have it around here and these are called keyframes. All you have to do is really just move it around in a new area of the video. Okay now press X. Now that you got the first one done you're gonna go to the second one which is where you're reappearing and press event FX. Add the same exact things. Uh, linear blur, bump map, and pinch punch. And press OK. Now, since you're reappearing, you want to uncheck all these. Since you're reappearing, you're going to start with the intensity really, really high. So, like that. Okay. Now, since it's really high intensity, you want to go down to the middle right there or so. And what you want to do is bring it down a little more like that. And then in the end of this, you want it to be back to normal like so. So it's going to be like that. Okay. Now check bump map. Click on bump map. And in the beginning of bump map, you want the intensity really, really high and up. And then in the end, you want it back to normal. Now, it's not going to be completely normal, but it's going to be close to normal. So it's going to be like that, and then it's going to go back down to here. So like that. So it's like... Phew. Now go to pinch punch. Check that. Click pinch punch. In the beginning, it's going to be maximum amount. And then in the end, it's going to be back to zero. So it's like that. Okay? Ignore my printer. My printer's printing something, so it might make some noises. But anyways, it'll look sort of like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, once you got that, press X. And then when you go and watch it from the beginning, it looks like that. It's just a really cool teleporting effect. And I really enjoy it. I hope this video of really helped you guys on your effects for the jumper effect and this is my first tutorial so it might be a little choppy but hope not please subscribe leave a comment below and if you guys liked it see you guys later